turning now to the desperate housewives reunion that fans never thought they'd see. You all are looking at each other smiling already. James Den and Terry Hatcher are back together, not in a desperate housewives kind of way, but uh, this is for a new Hallmark Channel movie, A Kiss Before Christmas. Yeah, you all tell me, what was that look? You all just, you all seem pretty excited about your reunion as well? We kind of are, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's so it, much fun. It really is. We've just known each other for so long, and we really are friends, and I look at him and I smile like that. It's just, I can't help it. Well, James, I know it's one thing to, uh, you all stay in touch, I mean, since Desperate Housewives days, but still to be on screen together, to be oh. working together again. What was that experience? It was great. It was an idea I brought to Hallmark because I was working on a series for them and um, and we agreed that it was a good idea but we had to find the right actress it was a big role it was asking a lot of her she had to play two characters or really two, <laughs> versions, of the, two versions of the same woman <laughs> and not only that then she also had to be really funny and I said if Terry if I can get Terry I'll do it uh -huh. otherwise I'm really not interested and so I kind of trepidatiously texted her would you consider and she's like oh yeah sure <laughs> and we haven't it's been you know, nine years and we haven't even talked about we talked about working together but it's hard to find a project yeah I couldn't believe it's almost <laughs> been a decade that just seems crazy to me yeah <laughs> it's just one of those things where it feels like a lot of time, but it also feels like yesterday. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know? totally. Yeah. So what was it like for you to have to kind of get back into that mindset of playing husband and wife if it's been almost a decade? It was a total freebie that we play. We played these characters in the movie that have been married for 20 years, and we basically have. <laughs> <laughs> no so we got that for free. And, you know, it just, I feel like we just slipped right back into it. It's uh, There's a lot of trust, and we, we both say that when you start off your relationship working together naked in the bushes, like you, you, either, you either create a lot of trust right from the beginning or it's not gonna work. So. Well, it's it, all. it is, it's a trust level where you just sort of, it's very comfortable and I was struggling with a scene in this movie that was emotional and I was very frustrated and she was able to just pull me aside and she knew exactly what to say. Oh. She's like, I know what you're doing and just think about this and, it, and that's something you can't buy. Mm. That's pretty great. That's Let's right. give everybody a look. I have this problem that I have to solve, but I need somebody to talk with, somebody that I trust. You. We don't know each other. About that. Um, I'm not the Ethan Holt that you think I am. It's a long story, but it all started just a few days ago when I met Santa in a train station. Told you. So great to see you guys together again. So are we going to see it again? Uh, this one's this, pretty open-ended. He's, he's the producer, so that, that Yeah, but I answered a Hallmark, so we'll see. But this definitely leaves it open-ended. There's, there's a great possibility. It could be a good sequel. And we're just looking yeah. for something else to do together because yeah. it, it was so much it fun. It was fun. Yeah, and hope people seem, people seem interested against all odds, you know, I mean, seeing us together again. So. That, that was another reason I wanted to do it was really for the fans. Uh, you know, Mike and Susan specifically never got the really happily ever after <laughs> oh, yeah. ending that maybe people wanted for them. So I think Vicarious Seriously, they are going to get that through watching this film. Well, it's, like, so it's a little bit rom-com. It's a little bit, it's a wonderful life, right? There's a little bit Desperate Housewives in there. So is there a little bit of Desperate Housewives, would you say, in the in the relationships you see in this project? Well, it's funny. We had one bedroom scene, like, on the second day, and, and we laughed because she had on you know, long sleeves and long pants. He's so pajamas. I was like, we're not on Wisteria Lane anymore. Like, it was a very different bedroom scene than we were used to doing. But uh, maybe it was more age appropriate. But it was fun because you do, it, you go right back into that really fun chemistry. Well, there was a question that a viewer had to you, James. Uh, are you happy with your ending? Anything you go back and change? Talking about Desperate Housewives. <laughs> with the ending, yeah. I was kind of lucky that I got when they killed me at the end because I got a big send-off. There, <laughs> there, well, there were only like three episodes to go. So and one of them was my funeral, and one of them I'm standing in her front yard as a ghost as she drives away from the neighborhood. And, you know, so I, I really get the best of both worlds because all the guys were afraid when they were going to get killed. So, But the, the, the easy thing was here when I told Terry, I said, because it's Hallmark, you don't have to worry about nobody's going to get killed. There's going to be no bleeding. <laughs> it's, you know, so that was, uh, we were comfortable with that. Not many people get to say they were lucky to be killed. killed. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but you know, you want that big send-up. Wow. <laughs>
Okay. I didn't really see it that way. <laughs> <laughs> she was heartbreaking. In I was crying for days and days. Well, guys, it has been really great uh, to have you. We can be the first ones to say happy holidays since we're almost there, it feels like. Happy <laughs> holidays. <laughs> Christmas at Hallmark. And yes, I'm appropriately dressed. I'm bringing in Christmas. We are coveting your suit. It is lovely. Everybody, a kiss before Christmas airs Sunday on the Hallmark Channel. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.